Hello everybody, my name is uh, Dr. Yahya Ithawi, I'm a neonatologist and this is the fifth session of neonatal ventilation and this will be the um, answer for the uh, ventilation quiz that I posted in uh, our WhatsApp groups and also in our uh, Facebook page. Um, so to answer the question, we really need to understand the um, uh, the, uh, the the graphics and the um, the loops. So here is um, the case was a 32 weeks gestational age baby with um, uh, 32 weeks uh, gestational age baby with. Um, Sorry, I'm just uh, trying to uh, to find the cursor so I can. This is a 32 weeks uh, gestational age baby, three days of life, being ventilated um, um, since birth after a trial of CPAP and the fate of CPAP. Uh, remember that he is not sedated and he's keeping uh, keep desaturating, and there is increase. The doctors continue to increase the FI2. Now, to need to understand the mode the most important point in understanding the mode is looking at the type of breaths and you can see here we have uh, two types of breath um, we have a, a, a mandatory which is generated by the uh, machine and we have two spontaneous breaths the other important point if you look at the pressure graph you can see that there is two breaths here one is generated by the machine and one generated by the patient and therefore there is asynchrony so we know that there is mandatory and there is spontaneous so we know this is probably not PTV or AC or SIPVV uh, so we have two possibilities here either we're dealing with IMV without synchronization so the doctors write not SIMV not SIPVV it just IMV the other things it might be SIMV, uh, but uh, uh, the uh, flow sensor is failing to to work, either disconnected or not calibrated, and therefore the baby is breathing uh, without synchronizing the breath with the uh, machine. And therefore, and if you look at the uh, at the flow, you will see that the ventilator generate. We, uh, the uh, the breath and there's another breath generated by the baby and you can see here is the two spontaneous and there is here also the mandatory same you can see the tidal volume arrived and then we have two tidal volumes here and we have two spontaneous that not achieving the targeted tidal volume so there is two possibilities here either there is um, S, um, S -I -M, um, IMV not synchronized or there is a synchronizing mode it can be SIPBV or SIMV but the flow sensor is falling and the reason for desaturation is actually not the disease possibility but the patient is uh, fighting with the machine all over the time because remember the patient is uh, not uh, sedated so the problem here is asynchronization now the other problem here you can notice that the inspiratory time is probably short so the baby is uh, uh, starting inhalation with very rapid rise so the rise should be slow a little bit here if you want to solve the problem and then there is a decelerating once the baby want to finish the um, inhalation the exhalation start uh, before he breathe in and the ventilator start to suck the the breath out and that's cause another exhaustion so short inspiratory time for the ventilator as synchronization or there is uh, the flow sensor are not not working so how to treat first is we need if it's an IMV we need to make it synchronized and I'd prefer not as IMV at this point I would start completely supporting mode and preventing the baby uh, uh, from taking any spontaneous breath he can start the spontaneous breath and then assist it there is a, a very likely possibility that also might cause the problem is that uh, it is actually a PTV or SIPBV, but the trigger is very high. 
And that's the reason, um, you know, you can see the baby breathing here. Let's say he's breathing a tidal volume of, of, of let's say, a flow of um, uh, one liter, but the trigger, trigger is two liters. So the trigger is too high, and therefore the patient, the machine is not recognizing that the patient is actually breathing. Very unlikely to have very high uh, trigger. Uh, so the treatment here is first to make it synchronized. That's one. Second is uh, to check if the sensor is working and if it's not calibrated to be calibrated. Third, I would give a little bit of sedation, such as um, you know non-narcotics, such as Vex, Meditomidine, and even sometimes you can give some narcotics or um, 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 some benzodiazepine like midazolam. And the other point is, uh, if there is a trigger, I would reduce the trigger down because probably this patient has high trigger. And, and then I look to the, to, the, uh, to the flow again. If all of these exactly looks like this, and there is, I might need to increase the inspiratory time and also increase the rising time or whatever the name, the start of the inflation to the... Uh, uh, so in short, the problem here is asynchrony. Uh, second is the sensor might be failing. Third, the trigger might be high. And fourth, probably the TI is uh, a little bit short. So to solve the problem, first, make it synchronized if it's not synchronized. Third, switch it to completely support such as SIBBV or assisted control or PTV. Third, I might give sedation. I have to check though the uh, flow sensor is working or not. And if it's not, then I have to replace it. Or if it's not calibrated, I need to recalibrate. So um, by this I conclude and I hope that this help uh, a little bit with the uh, graphics. So what is the core graphics that you can use is the flow because everything in the ventilator depend on the flow. And you can see that the graphics uh, show you the trend of many cycles. Some of the ventilator will give you seven to eight cycles in one view and that's help you to look and uh, on the trend of the monitor and, 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 and try to keep some time uh, while watching the uh, uh, try to keep some time when you're watching the uh, the graphics so you need to spend like 30 minutes to one hour remember even if you do frequent gases um, let's say if you, if you do it as frequent as two hours, you only, only have two, 12 numbers. By, and if you look at the graphs, you have continuous monitoring. So it's a very vital to spend and understand. And remember, graphics is the parameter versus time, and it gives you the trend. While the loops, it's only it's a parameter versus parameter. It only gives you the, dy dy the dynamic of one, one cycle. So by this, I conclude this video, and I hope that you enjoy it and understand it. And please join me to uh, see and listen to other uh, short videos about neonatal ventilation that I will be keep posting. Thank you very much and have a good day.